In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cPanel account on your VPS. Now, you can create a cPanel account and then you can have multiple websites hosted within that cPanel or you can create a separate cPanel account for each of your websites. I recommend creating a separate cPanel for each of your websites because it keeps the files and compartments and you have um, more safety and security because now if one account gets hacked or if one account has a malware it does not um, infect any other websites that are being hosted on your VPS only thing you have to keep in mind that your VPS server is safe and secure so that it doesn't get hacked um, so basically creating a cPanel account on your VPS is a very straightforward process so I'm just I'm gonna start diving into this and show you how it's done All right so this is the dashboard of your WHM if you have uh, a hosting manager then it will be a bit different than this but this is WHM and cPanel uh, it come bundled with a lot of uh, VPSs so we are interested in account function this is where you manage your accounts you create accounts update accounts change passwords suspend terminate all those things this one account information is just a list of your accounts you can do some small functions there but majority of the work uh, on accounts are done here so let's just click on this and we enter this next screen and we choose create a new account and we give the domain information you require a domain name to create one if you don't have a domain that's okay you can write down um, but you will need to update it and change it in your cPanel so I'm just gonna give a random one bizwiz give it a random user give it a password and provide an email address whatever you prefer this is where all the communications related to your technical support will be sent to the next option is choose a package usually uh, if you leave it like that it will assign a default package but what a package is basically you assigning a, a certain amount of resources to a specific cPanel account if you have already set up your own packages that's fine if you haven't you can go with the default this does not have any quota everything is unlimited so whoever uses the cPanel they can use as many resources as they require and then they will, uh, other clients will also have to compete so if you want to restrict how much um, this disk space or bandwidth and those other options one account has to use you can go and set them up in the packages section on uh, the dashboard uh, for now just to give you a quick video I'm going to choose default or you can even select the options manually which will give you the uh, options of limiting him so for now we're not going to do that so the next option is settings if you have a theme you can select one and you can change the language if you like to uh, this next option enable Apache spam, spam assassin you should keep it enabled because this will catch all the spam coming to the mail server on your VPS or the cPanel account that you're creating uh, it takes a bit of resources but if you're gonna use your own mail server or do not provide an extra uh, external server then you should have this enabled uh, also enable the spam box this will create a spam folder so that at least you will check the emails that are going into the spam folder because sometimes legit emails end up in spam folder uh, next option is mail routing settings so this is your mail server if you want to uh, set up a local mail exchange so you basically want emails coming from your cPanel account then you should choose the local mail exchanger if you on the other hand decide to use a service like G Suite Microsoft Exchange or Zoho and things like that then you should um, change it to remote mail exchanger but given the fact that you can change this later on you can either have it like this or choose automatically detect we recommend automatically detect at this moment uh, it's it's more convenient 
reseller settings make a, the account a reseller no unless you really really have to keep it uh, as a single um, user account DNS settings uh, this is just to make sure that your emails um, and some of your DNS settings are accurate enable DKIM and SPF on your account these two relate to your email safety so that when you send an email from your server it does not end up in a junk mail or is caught as a spam it's not 100% proof but this is the bare minimum that you have to do you can do some more tweaking and some more settings in the DNS that's a completely different um, ball game but uh, for now you need to enable both of these on your server next one use name server specified as domain and registrar no you shouldn't do that uh, because that will create a bit of more uh, you know a few more steps for you to handle your routing and your um, um, records so what you need to do is you need to provide your own dns uh, dom name servers um, so don't select this override any existing dns zone in this account don't worry about it unless you already have an account with this name or uh, you have a dns record for this account then you should do that otherwise this is not required name servers this is um, the one that will be provided to you by the vps so this will be for, i'm hosting on godaddy so for godaddy it's secureserver.net with some prefix i recommend you create your own name servers this way you manage everything under one um, account so what i've done is i've created another account a cpanel account for digitalmile.com.au and i've created a name server within that and i use that for all my clients so I, when they need to route it to um, point their domain name to the cpanel account they use these name servers so just because have you have a website and you put it here domain name you have put it here does not mean it automatically uh, point to your vps or the cpanel account you need to go into the domain host providers um, dashboard and change the name server to the one that is specified here uh, and if you create your own of course you just use that so we basically done and we create the account oops sorry press create and just wait till it's done all right perfect uh, i don't want to save it all right so this everything went okay it, the account is set up and uh, it's ready to go now the next step of course will be to go to the cpanel and you know or give access to the cpanel user account um, where they can change the settings um, so if we click the go to cpanel this will be the cpanel uh, if you're familiar with it good if you're not uh, it's just kind of a dashboard with all the functions and all the tools you need to create your website and the, for, for the beginners the most important part is uh, software so where you will install a CMS a content management system like WordPress Joomla PrestaShop Magento things like that um, and it's easy because it's just one click in, uh, install and you don't need really advanced uh, knowledge of how uh, to install them manually so you can manage a lot of things here and this will be the, uh, the dashboard that your clients will use uh, to manage their uh, configuration they can change the PHP settings my databases and their domain redirect the DNS setting that we did um, there will also be managed here so they can create their own you know mail servers and change their uh, redirects or create subdomains and things like that here so everything's managed here but this is for another video um, hopefully you have learned some basic thing how to create a cPanel account and if you need some more detailed videos about any uh, special function of the VPS or cPanel uh, please leave it in the comments and I'll try to uh, get to it